When you think about it, it's such fine margins that get you over the line or don't get you over the line. So it was the fourth time I probably thought, you, you know, we got weak when in Ireland here, like. So I remember my dad bringing me down when I was about six or seven to play under 10s in St. Bridget's. The, the underage kind of focus for the club was kicking off around the time. This did only have one pitch and a small uh, dressing room set up. It didn't matter what age you are, there was no nursery or anything organised like that that there would be nowadays. And just started playing there and that was it when I fell in love with Gaelic football. Went up from Sacred Heart and we started playing with Paddy Christie's team and on the 12th. We would have been playing a bit of soccer at the time and kind of went up to the first night we were in Popmagee Community Centre and we were just playing a bit of indoor football. Kind of went from there and then we played a match and just we were playing then for life I suppose. My dad played for Bridget's. Uh, dad was captain of the senior team and played I think in seven county finals and lost seven county finals. But I definitely remember down at matches with dad and going to games with dad and down to training and handing out the jerseys and just being involved like with the club from, from as soon as like my earliest from memory, memories. We were 16, 17 coming on to the senior team. It was sink or swim. We, we had no choice but to step up to the plate for the, for the good of the club. But we had a good group of lads coming through, which did help because we were really, you know, determined and, you know, we had, we had no real success. We were kind of driven by Paddy Christie and the lack of success to try and drive on the club. For us as, as minors that time, there was like, you know, the, the senior team was an unbelievable team already. And we were there, obviously young at the time, coming in to a successful team. And, you know, there were some of our players that would obviously join that panel and, and strengthen it even, even more. But I think for us, coming out of minor and having like the likes of Carl and, and Frankie and these lads that, are, you know, play county and, you know, they were unbelievable role models for, for a minor team coming in. And, and that kind of definitely helped strengthen the, the team by having them lads kind of there and involved. We were lucky enough that we had a good talented group as well and Paddy was manager and maybe not winning at the younger ages was kind of a hunger that drove us on all the way like and but we did have kind of like I suppose a lot of the lads now have multiple all Irelands from you know that team so it was a special group do you know what I mean? I didn't really know what to think I was kind of going oh god like I've as a kid I went to watch these matches in Paddy's day and I never ever dreamed of playing Crow Park from a club. Do you know, looking back, it's all it's all a mad blur of days. Like it, the 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 range of emotions that we went through that day, from you know even beforehand and, and and the bus up and just kind of the crack that you're having and the kind of the nervous excitement and and that whole build up. I don't think we ever kind of were too worried about the opponents in the All Ireland final. We were confident enough ourselves that if we go out and play well, we can we can beat whoever's put in front of us. They had won so many titles, like it was hard not to take them seriously, like but they kind of had a similar trajectory to ourselves in, in one sense, you know. I always had ambitions of playing with Dublin and that's, as a kid, you'll always want to play with your county, but to play in your club, I think it's just far more special. Like these guys, as I mentioned, I grew up with them. They're my friends, being at my wedding, everything, like they're so close that this is what it means for you to play with your club. Like, yes, we were confident, like, you know, when, when, when you do go that far up, it's hard not to be confident, you know, probably things were going well for us at the time. We kind of got off to a, a poor start, with Bally Moon were just on fire, everything they, they did was going into the back of the net and over the bar, and they had us under real, real pressure. When I think we went, we went 10 up, I think Philly got a goal, and I suppose that was the first time I probably thought, you, you know, we got weak when we were in here, like, you know. There was no, we didn't have time to panic, you know, we were kind of, like your head points down, you, like you're, you're just, you're putting your shoulder to the wheel, but, you know, we managed to, to somehow claw our way back in, Senin got a great goal, and, and Senin's goal after whatever 10, 12 minutes was the real turning point for us in that game, to recover from the bad loss and to bring the game within a manageable uh, deficit that allowed us to go on and claw back the rest of it uh, as the game went on. Then the second half just was frantic. A nice ball fell for me in the second half, all right, and just first thing came into my head was to punch it, and thankfully went into the bottom corner. Hadn't really ever tried it before. I think there was one goal in a college game for Trinity. 
years back where a similar thing happened and it went it went into the corner as well. But it was just pure instinct of certainly wasn't premeditated and I couldn't have reacted that quickly on a premeditated decision. So yeah, thankfully it went in, brought us level. I don't know how we pulled it off or how we even thought not to catch it, but it was just kind of instinctive. And that put us back to level and then it was kind of game on, then we're back in the game and um, I guess the last 15 minutes were big nerves on both sides, like they missed, I think they missed two frees and we dropped a couple of balls short into the keeper's hand and like it was kind of, you know, it was to and fro, it was one of them kind of like nobody really wants to win it, nobody wants to lose it kind of, kind of occasions. I don't think any, point, any team went more than a point ahead and it was real tit for tat and it was like first team blinks loses kind of a, kind of a job. I was there close enough to when it happened and Garage Conniff just got a hand to John Small's hand pass and Niall Graham was able to sweep in in front of Jason Whelan for the crucial turnover and we worked the ball back off the pitch and frankly the man you'd want there other than Senna maybe to kick a point over the bar got on the ball as he always wants to do in the crucial moments and slotted it over, it's just sweet. Really we had been once maybe Vince in the quarterfinal we went three down but you know, this kind of felt different. Like it was just a bit that sort of game. Like where with the weather and stuff like that. Like it was going to be hard to kind of to get too many scores at that point. Like and when he kicked the winner and then like it was a great score. But like you know, you just felt sick in the pit of your stomach. You know, because you knew probably you were going to struggle to have time to do anything else. I was just completely numb. Like I, I remember sinking down and lying on the ground and and just wanting the, hot, the ground to swallow me up. That's why we keep playing football. I think, you know, until I hang up the boots, I'll, I'll always believe that I can get back there. I think we're just a tight-knit group to get there. It was a massive, massive success for us. And you now hopefully we can get back there again, you know. When you think about it, it's such fine margins that get you over the line or don't get you over the line. We were one interception away from maybe losing the game. You know, it's, it's, it really is that close. You know, you, you only get a certain window of opportunity to play for that team. And, you know, growing up, you're seeing your dad and his friends playing. And then, you know, 20 years later, you're in. And, and it, you know, in, in 20 years time, there'll be the next generation playing. And that's that special thing about our club and every club. Um, and obviously, it's, it's, it's a massive, Thing to have been part of that team for, for so long. The first thing that came into your head is like, we've actually done this, we've won the big one. What we've always wanted to do since maybe 2005, that this is in the back of our mind. Maybe it's like a kid on Christmas morning, uncontrollable excitement because he sees a good present, They're, they don't know how to react. Same with us, just them first few moments. Time stands still, you just, just want to, you're, you're in the moment with your mates on the pitch. It's an incredible feeling.